What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'm Chime Time and welcome back to another episode of the Conversation Room. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, especially YouTube. Like, share, follow, subscribe. I greatly appreciate that now. Now, again, if you're watching this video, if you came across me on YouTube, just subscribe. I promise you, you have a good time, all right? So, today, <clears throat> this is a, a last minute choice. So, I was going to do breakfast this morning, but I decided to do thigh stop. So, I got the thighs here. I got the fries here. I got some corn. I got some rolls. I got some ranch. I got some racha sauce, water, and ketchup. So, um, these thighs, I will say, smell pretty good. But I'll let you guys know how all that tastes. So, uh, today's topic is why men lose interest in sex. You know, that's a question that's been popped up. I'm going to let you guys know that. But before I let you guys know, I am not a relationship expert nor a relationship coach. I'm a man, a human being with an opinion. Okay? So, do not come to me for advice. Come to me if you want an opinion from my 12 followers. Yeah, I got that one follower back. I'm not sure if you came back, decided, whatever. But, just hit me up at chimetime17gmail.com. Again, that's chimetime17gmail.com. If you want me to do the video on your question, you have to write me in numbers. Okay, so today, man, I ain't gonna lie. Today, this is actually a good question. It's a fairly easy question, but it's a good question because a lot of people do want to know why men lose, well, a lot of women want to know why men lose interest in sex. And this, to me, this is a, a simple question. And, um, and I'm gonna give you the real. I'm not gonna give you what the internet says. I, I mean, I know they talk about, you know, psychologically, you know, the dopamine effect and, no, nah. I'm gonna give you guys the real. A lot of times, as men lose interest in sex, is because the daggum sex is horrible. Mm-hmm. It's bad. See, let me tell you something. It's okay for a woman to have expectations on the man. You know how big his meat should be, how his body should look, etc. But it just seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong, it seems to me that women, that some women think just because they have a coochie, that they don't have bad sex. God bless you. You are so wrong. I mean, you're, you're wrong. So let me tell you. Let me tell you a little secret, ladies. All right? You too can have bad sex. Oh my God. Too hairy. Foul odor. Coochie hole smell like booty hole. The toilet paper. Man, listen. Let me tell you something. This toilet paper effect, before I even say it, has got to stop. You know, I always got a story. That's oh, punchy hell. Anyway. I'm hitting it from the back, right? You know, I'm flipped over, pounding from the back. And, you know, sometimes you get in the zone, you just happen to look down like, oh, you know what I'm saying? I look down and was like, oh, no. This woman had toilet paper balls in her booty, and they started rolling down her butt and onto my Peter. Man, when I say, I went from Charmin, I mean, I went from rock hard to Charmin Ultra Soft. That's exactly what happened. I mean, at least you don't ask me what's wrong. I gave it a look like, really? You, you, you really asking that question? You know what's wrong. You got toilet paper balls in your booty hole. And then on top of that, on top of that, it was dookie on the booty. It's, it was dookie on it. It was dookie on the toilet paper. So you don't even know how to wipe your ass. You don't even know how to wipe it. You just keep. Oh my God. Anyway, ladies, I say all that to say. You got to do more than just show up. You gotta show up and show out. Cause you two can have bad sex. Straight up. Ask me what's wrong. 
Hmm. Hmm. Another reason why is I think some women think that once you have sex with them, you're automatically in a relationship. Not so fast, young grasshopper. You're wrong again. Yo, just because we haven't casually, just cause, just because we haven't casual sex, does not mean. Hmm, pop in my house, text me all times of the night, meet my family, tell me what to do. It don't mean all that. We're just having sex. I mean, tell me you gonna you gonna hit these buns and. And, and you're not gonna be with me? Uh, yeah. Since when did having sex equate to a relationship, ma'am? Jesus Christ. It's crazy, man. And you know what? You know what be killing me, though? It be the women that approach you first. Like, y'all be wild. Y'all approach a man first. On some sex type stuff. But then, when he give you what you want, you think y'all in a relationship. Well, how'd that work? Wildin! Boy. Ridiculous. <clears throat> mm. I'm good day. I do want to add, too. Mm. Down. Men, when you uh have sex with men, ladies, it boosts our ego, right? It boosts our ego. And so, for instance, you know, when you're screaming, you're yelling, ah, 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 all that unnecessary stuff, scratching his back, biting his chest and stuff like that, our ego goes zero to 100 real quick. You know what I'm saying? So... Mm. After our ego is up there, we develop what I like to call BDS, okay? Big Dick Syndrome. And what that is is that you finally showed him that you need him more than he needs you. So now he walking around with his chest out, like... I mean, he walk around with the, with the big penis now. Hey, I got the big penis. Come over here. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm being real, yo. Like, you you done gave him big penis syndrome. And now, while you're chasing him, you know what he's going to do now? He's going to laugh at your efforts. Mm-hmm. You know, same thing that women do to men when we're chasing y'all. He don't do it to you. I was just like a sidebar. Down the truth though. Mm. Mm mm mm. God I do. These fries are good, man. Oh my god. With the soy sauce ketchup. Mmm. And I do want to add this in there too. I guess this is gonna be the last thing. But another reason is, man. Damn it, y'all give it up too fast sometimes. I ain't lying to you. I mean, <laughs> women, us men, we're not stupid. Okay. We know when y'all want to be courted, and we know when y'all just t t just talking that bullshit. Okay, we know. So, cause some women will come out and they're like, "Me and I always want to have sex. I want to be taken out." Okay, I'll take you out. Take you out. Spend twenty thirty dollars. Now you feel special. Now I'm in your bed. 
You know what I'm saying? It's like <laughs> some women just want to be special temporary. Just want to feel special temporarily. Mm. And us men, we can see right through the bullshit. All I'm saying is, man, say what you mean, mean what you say, right? It's like, when we take y'all out sometimes, we spend that money, boom, the hoe come out. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look, if you do that, that's fine. But again, one, say what you mean, mean what you say. And two, Don't get mad because we just up to leave. Cause a man's mind, <clears throat> you doing that shit to everybody. <laughs> I know to me, if I smash you on the first night, as I said before in one of my other videos, This is your first rodeo. I know I ain't the only one. So don't call me. I'm my no damn relationship. Cause ain't gonna happen. So keep that energy over there. Mm, 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 mm. But yeah, those are some of the reasons why I'm mentally interested in sex. And of course, you know what I'm saying, some men just want to hit. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, yes. I don't know why I'm dipping this in ranch. <laughs> yes. Some men just want to hit. But, a lot of this stuff is preventable. It really is. Like, thinking, relationship, thinking that we're in a relationship after sex, that's preventable. Toilet paper balls in your in your butthole, that's preventable. Cujo smell like booty hole, that's preventable. These things to me are preventable, so Yeah, coffee you can walk, you feel me? Hmm. Hmm. Let me tell you something. Tell y'all how I feel about these wings. I mean, these. Mmm. These thighs. Mmm. For one, they're definitely trash. For sure. Hands down. Trash. Why they're trash? They're dry as hell. Overcooked, and they're really not saucy. But considering the fact that I'm hungry, you know, eight nine since yesterday, I'm gonna eat this shit now. Uh -huh. mm. Mm -mm -mm. But y'all, forgive me, man, for the lighting issue. I'm sure my videos kind of look different. It's my first month on YouTube, and you know, I'm trying to figure out the right lighting, man, and it's the hardest thing. So, if you watch this video, man, and you got some tips for lighting, let me know. While y'all watching the video, I'm going to do more research, y'all. Because this right here is crazy. Like, natural light versus regular light, it's just all... Big crock of shit. I've been up all morning testing the light. I feel like I finally got it right with this, but same time, who knows? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. These rolls, boy. Listen, this is a place in Greensboro called Up Charlie's. And I think they have 
The best rolls. Mm. I don't hang out dozen. I just did. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm getting fun. So I, shout out to everyone that's watching my videos too. Shout out to y'all, man. <clears throat> Cause uh, I'm starting to get around a little bit. I'm starting to get more people starting to engage. Not really engage, but they're starting to watch my content. I appreciate that. Mm. From one YouTuber to another. <laughs> well, I mean, can I really classify myself as a YouTuber? I ain't really made it yet. I'm a YouTuber. Well, mm. well, y'all. Let me just say this before I let you guys go. If you get wing stop now, if you get thighs. Depending on where you are, prepare for this shit to be tough. I'm talking tough. You know how like sometimes like your feet get dry on the back end and the and the skin starts shedding, <clears throat> sound like sandpaper. Yeah. I am not still eating. I don't know. Well, I'm hungry. I'm tired. And I spent the money. Shout out to Ricky Rose, man. You know what I'm saying? We'll come with this idea. Maybe I gotta go to a different location. I don't know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> anyway, y'all. I want to thank y'all for tuning in today. Listen to my mouth. Listen to me rant a little bit. I appreciate y'all, man. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but you decide to click on my video. I appreciate that. I love you for that. For those who just clicked on my video, seen my face, and said, ew, and just kept going, I love y'all too. Because I'm sure that happened. Mm -hmm. But, anyway. I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow in the conversation room. Oh, also, don't forget, if you have any questions that you want me to do a video on, hit me up at chime, t-i-m-e, 17gmail.com. All right? I holler.